Hey, Dougie Coop here with part five in my identity series. In the last video, I shared with you a poem I had written uh, called Gaia. And that poem goes back about 25 years. And the title Gaia, I borrowed from Greek, which is the goddess of earth and the mother of all life. And at that time in my life, great period of angst and searching. And I look back now and realize I was going through a bit of a quarter life crisis. I was spending a lot of my days over on a group of islands in Lake Erie, a village called Putin Bay, which I used for my first novel, Outside In. And, you know, at the time, you know, would push things pretty hard, a lot of partying, a lot of socializing, and then I would just get burnt out. And at the time, I didn't realize just how introverted I was and that I really needed uh, solitude and isolation to recharge. And but I would seek it out anyway, and I was would go at sunrise and sunset, which, you know, great times of transformation, and would just write in my journal. And two of the spots, this old boat ramp um, that was used to be used, but it was a bunch of broken concrete that went into the lake. And then late night at, at Perry's Monument, um, you know, would write in my journal. And, you know, this poem was what came out of a lot of those writings. And in the first verse, Mother Earth, tell me what you see. You know, that's really me pleading with the earth, you know, tell me as my mirror, give me some answers here. And, you know, not only of your secrets, but of mine. And second verse where I'm talking about at times I'm lost and others found really this I oscillation between how we think we're close to an answer. And then in the next instant, you know, we're as far away as we were. So this this back and forth of being lost and being found and still turning to the earth, you know, the winds, your wind speaks and your water shows, you know, looking for the signs in the out, outward world. And, you know, in the third verse, I say, won't you take me back to it all? A little bit of biblical reference here to the conception and to the fall, which is really about how we want to go back to when life was simple. Um, and then the fall is the temptation that was all around me. And again, that simplicity of just finding truth in life idealized. And then in the last verse, my way I seek and soon will find that I know I'm going to keep searching and I know I'm going to find my answer. And this is probably one of my favorite lines I've ever written. You know, my nature and future both align. That's just such a comforting line that when who we are and where we're going are perfectly aligned. And I think that's always the goal. And then I say, I turn to you to lead within again, going back to nature to take me back to that simplicity to be in paradise once again. So I hope you enjoyed a little bit of this insight into that poem, you know, subscribe, link, follow to get all the videos in my identity series.